so we had our menu bar already loaded. And then what we are going to do, I'm going to import the, I'm going to import this, the other file into the main, the main, the main, the main dot that. And I told you how to import that. We import. Then you are going to impale to menu bar. So import menu bar dot that. And then after importing it, I'm going to call it from the scaffold. So now when you look at this scaffold, it was having an up bar. So now before the up bar, I'm going to I'm going to give it another another method, meaning that it will have to call that method. Then the up bar will follow, but that method is a drawer. So use the use that drawer method, and then on a drawer method you can call the other menu. You can call the menu the menu bar from the drawer. Let me see. The method home is defined for the menu bus stage. Let me first check and see whether it's the name which I gave to this one. So I gave it a, a name which is a menu. Mm -hmm. mm, class menu. And so now I want to I want to I want to call this page then on this in the menu in the menu file. Mm, they are telling me that the method home isn't defined for the for the type of menu bus state. Mm, so we have to call it within this method. So another thing we can do. Okay, let me just let me just do like this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just implement it from here above, here below. And then it will be easier for me. Control V. I paste it there. After pasting it there, I remove this import. So that's why I told it. Sorry, it's better to you first create it within this file, then you you transfer. Oh, so I had used the home instead of men. I've seen that mistake. Actually, it's what I was, I was trying to, I was trying to ask you which home are you using. Okay. Mm, so let me leave it like it was. So even here, let me remove it. I think it was working fine.
Just replace home with menu. Yeah, just replace home with menu. I also remove it. Ah, then I remove home and I replace it with the menu. Like that. So let us try to save. Since I'm not seeing any error in the two files, then they must be okay. So now I can, let me first save this one. Also, I go to this file. I save it and we see. It's okay, because I don't see any error. Mm. So I'm just waiting for it to, re to, re to reload. I think you are seeing it now. That I have the, yeah. I have the menu here. When I click on it, let me see. It brings the home. It brings the contact us and then the about us. So when I click on the home, there is nothing which you have, not, nothing happens because I haven't implemented that method. So when you come and click aside, then it disappears. So let me just implement a, the method in one of the files. And then how am I going to implement that method? I'm going to copy this. Okay, let me simply do like this. I'm going to click on lib. I add another file, which is a new, that file. And then I'm going to call it home, home.dat. Ah, let me just use home. The extension will come. Then I'm going to import Flutter. And then here I'm going to create a stateless widget. And then I'll just call it home, which returns a container. Yeah, that's enough. It will return just an empty container. And then I go to the menu button that. And I call that method. I mean the file, which is import. Home. I call home dot that. Then in the home method, I'm going to implement the home in the on top method. So now what we have to look at what I'm going to type inside the inside the on tap, you have to know how we implement that method. And then another thing you can include, for example, here I didn't include the title color, you can include the title color. So you have many things we can implement. Mm -hmm. And then inside the the on top, that's where I'm going to implement my on top method inside of these brackets. And then inside, I'm going to use the navigator. So you have to know this function I'm going to use. And you see how it works. It is called navigator dot. I have seen it there. Navigator dot of. And then inside, there is a context. I just leave it like it like it is. And then what should I put here? I'm going to write a pop method. 
because what the reason why I'm using this scope because I want I, because I want this navigation bar to disappear when I click on it. Simply like that. Let me save and we see. So now, now when I click on the menu bar. and I click on the home, it will just disappear because I've used the pop method. <clears throat> and this pop method tells the, the application that whenever I click on the function, then the navigation bar should disappear, the menu bar. But I'm not interested in using this. What I'm going to use, I want to implement the actual thing so that when I click on it, it displays the other page. And there you have to use the navigator.push, which you have been using. Navigator.push. And inside the navigator.push, we all reserve the context. And then after the context, we have we reserve the route to the page which we want to. So which is the material page route. So this shows the route where, 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 I, want, I, where, where I want to go when I, I click on that button. So, and inside this material page route, mm -hmm. I'm going to be having, I'm going to be having a builder. And then this builder, We'll take in a context and then this context will direct me to the root which is the home so you have to understand this logic of using the buttons most of the buttons use this the same thing whether it is the on pressed whether it is the only clicked the implementation is the same whereby we have the navigator.push, which pushes to the root. And this that, that navigator.push takes in a context, takes in two arguments, the context and then the material, the root. And that root is the material page root because it takes to another app, which is also having a material widget. That's why we are using a material page root. And then that material page root, it has to build the screen where we are going to, that screen which is going to be opened. And that screen will be the home screen. So when I save that and I... So meaning that if you want to implement that button, you use the same thing. Even in other methods, what you change is the, the, is the name of the function which you are calling. For example, yeah, you have the home. If you have the about us method, you call, you call the about us method, but the other things remain the same. <laughs> so now when I click on the home, because I've implemented it for the home only. So when I click on the home, it has to take us to that container, which is an, an empty container because I haven't implemented anything. So it just returns an empty container. 
So when I click this arrow and I go back, but there is no, I think here yeah, they have no, we have no back arrow because you haven't used the back, uh, an up bar. But I can go back to here and I just tell it to return a scaffold instead of an empty, an empty container. I return a scaffold. And in this scaffold, the advantage with that with that scaff with that up bar, it brings that back a direction. Say so that you can go back to the other to the, the previous page. And then I give it a title. And this will be a text. And this text will be. This is the home. Mm -hmm. And then I use the center title, which is the true. I also give it a background color to be different from the other one, which is a colors dot red. Let me just give it a green. So now we can save and we see. So now when I click on the on the menu bar and then I choose home. Ah, I think you see the home screen. And when I click when I click on the on the back up on the back yeah. arrow, when I click on the back arrow, it takes you it takes you back to that direction. So then another thing you have, you have to try out is to, is to include the other icon which I added. It's always the, it is like, it is like an X say so that when you click on it, the menu bar disappears. So, you, so meaning, meaning that it will be the, it, it will be the first list tile in the list in the, in our menu, but then in the list, it will be the first miss, the first list tile. So you have to implement that as the first list tile. So that when you click on it, you give it the other method which I gave you, which is navigator.of, which is having that dot pop. So that when you click on it, then the app, the, 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 the home bar is that disappears, the menu bar. Okay. So that's the Called what? That X there. Which one? That X, that X is just an icon. It is an icon just. Okay. So meaning that you, when you are including an icon, you have to look for that icon. I don't remember the name of that icon, but what I know it's an icon. You can also give it a color. Actually, I gave it a color so that it can be different from others. Actually, it's called the cancel icon. Okay. So you can end this session from here. At least for now, you can implement that that homes that home bar. So someone is asking, what is the home? The use of this home. So the use of this home bar is just for is a navigation. For example, if you are having an app it and the, and the application is having around the twenty screens. You can include all those options within the menu bar so that a person can just click contact and then it takes him to the contact the contact page instead of instead of having to scroll throughout all those 20 pages. So this one is just for easy accessibility of the application. 
So that's the only thing we, why, why we use. And, and when you look at all applications, they are having, all oh, standard applications are having that app. Bar. For example, when you look at WhatsApp, it's the one where you see the notifications, where you find the messages. So meaning that it is very useful. So I can end this meeting. I, I, I already gave you the assignment, which is in the group I sent. I remember I sent a project which is having that menu bar, which is which we are going to implement. And I also sent the screens. Those screens I sent, you can navigate to those screens using that menu bar. There are only six screens. So you must be in position to, to navigate all those screens using that menu bar. Then tomorrow we shall look at the drop down. I think tomorrow we shall look at the, I, on Wednesday, we shall look at the rounded buttons. And then on Friday, we'll look at the drop, the drop down menu.